Bowl 24. And we'll see this team's versatile running back. He was steady for him on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. It's the Tigers and the Pioneers, and it's all up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us down under in the beachside city of Melbourne, Australia. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Pioneers of Louisville taking on our home team. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, think about this Melbourne club entering play. Now, they've lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the visitors, Louisville, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. I love just about everything about him. Love his game, love his makeup, love his moxie, one of my favorite words. This guy's a competitor. Gritty, tough, you name it, he's got it. But he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss. And despite the fact he threw three touchdown passes, he's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. They'll drop to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. So they bring out their putter, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Take it on the midfield logo. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. When I was watching film this week, I had to write a note to myself. Three touchdown passes in an NFL game deserves respect, not whole home just because they throw it around all the time, and he got his respect. NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, it's the ultimate vote of confidence from a week ago. Hey, look, he was great. Not his best game ever, but obviously was very good to garner that award. All the talk this week, though, was about let's take that forward now. They work now on second and nine. Webb now from the gun. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. To throw Webb. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now Webb. And he's going to 
to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Here's a give up the middle. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. You know when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow. This guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. Touchdown! A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Pioneers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that as so he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The numbers for him from a week ago, 15 carries, 120 yards, and a touchdown. And when he went over 1,000 yards last week, you know what it did for their offense? It gave them a true identity because everyone's going to talk about this. The offensive line's going to take pride in it. Of course, the guy carrying the football will. But how about the coaching staff? When they go in and talk contracts, when they talk to reporters, hey, we have a 1,000-yard rusher this year. That means something in today's NFL. Back to throw now on first down. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. When you look at this defense, they've had their trouble stopping the run, Charles. Currently 29th in the NFL in that department. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They'll look to throw again. And that's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. And they bring their punter out there now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They are back over the 500 mark for the season. Got there with a win a week ago, their second straight victory. Well, they've definitely gotten better as this season has gone along. And from what I can tell, they know their roles. Everyone understands how they fit offensively, defensively. And this team now has an identity, and they're playing to it and playing well. On second down now. Beltran takes this to the 27, give him four yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now the 
throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. This is brought in at the 21. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Here's second and 10. Now back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark it down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was locked. Running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Second down and six now. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle and the traffic, and that's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession. As they come up now, second and goal. Now they send a running back in motion right. And it's caught. Touchdown. From four yards out. And the Tigers are an extra point away from evening this one up. So a nice touchdown pass for the rookie there. And, you know, as they go down the stretch, look, they're not a playoff team. This is just confidence building and growth time for him, right? Yes, yeah, the game within the game, isn't it? Because every team wants to win all games on their schedule. But the development of this rookie quarterback is paramount for this team. So you're exactly right. Every rep, doesn't matter what the game, what the situation, what the score, Valuable for him, valuable for his team as they look towards next year. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. 
Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Up the middle they go. Beltran. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I'm guaranteeing you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up in a very good clip. A well-executed 22-yard gain. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A play fake, now Webb. And it's caught, touchdown! A great play there! 28 yards and his guys have taken the lead what a great drive that was a long drive sustained well executed I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two right this young quarterback continues to evolve and grow he's really the adage right now that John Wooden the famous basketball coach used to say be quick but don't hurry you can see that everything is happening for him but he's not taking it at a pace that he can't sustain the extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Melbourne's offense back out on the field now. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to 7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to the QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. 23 yards to pick up there. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing left side, it's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. They need 18 yards here on third down. They'll look to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. 
So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Webb to throw. And he's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. But not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Webb. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 13 yards, and it keeps the drive moving. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff up the middle. Beltran, just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They'll run on first down. Beltran. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Beltran. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. And from the 34, here's second and four. Now Webb. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. On first and ten, Webb. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And it's a fumble. And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Webb. Touchdown! A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Pioneers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points.
A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 21-7. to so that drive spans 13 plays. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And Melbourne ready to go again on offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. On first down, it's Webb. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off play action, it's Webb. Pressure comes and down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacting the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started in the place dubbed America's Finest City, San Diego, California, where it was definitely a game with some interest. Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Out of the gun, it's Webb. Looking deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 30-yard line. It's a big play there on third down. 45 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, 
you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead for those other guys. They've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. Now a first down throw. Webb. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Now second and five. Now a give right side. Beltran. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Here's Webb. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. On first down, Beltran. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 63 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Webb now. And he'll just get rid of it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. There they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. To throw Webb. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Webb. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him now over 3,000 yards passing on the campaign. And Brandon, I think we have to start to think about where we are in the season, because right now, 4,000 is not out of the question. I think a big game or two, he's certainly capable of getting that done. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to tough. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His eighth rushing touchdown of the year. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point attempt to follow here. And the lead is now 24. So that drive spanned five plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away.
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point of the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. They're continuing to rock and roll. And at intermission, you know, maybe sometimes you fear after such a good first half of a letdown, but that, that wasn't the case. And what I remember most about being in those situations is exactly what you're talking about. You almost have that sense of satisfaction. You're like, ah, we're doing really well. But I remember one time someone saying, winning's fun, but so is playing really well. Why would we want to do otherwise? That was, that was the message to keep the intensity up, to keep things going. And that's exactly what we're seeing here from this team. Yeah, it's helped them extend their lead. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll leave them with a third and two. Up the middle they go. Beltran. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Beltran, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. They pick up 12 on the play, and the chains move. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Throwing on first down. Webb. That's strong bringing it in on the out route. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They'll look to throw again. Sliding out of the pocket. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Pioneers have opened the lead up to 30. 
That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. But we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home to their final destination? Well, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. They're going to look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. 19 yards is the pick up there, but even with that, they're well short. It's fourth down, and they'll send out their punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And, Charles, we are in the midst of a very one-sided affair. I think this is where you and I have to fill a little bit. You want to regale us with old stories of your childhood in New Paltz, New York? <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to hear that, but this is a perfect time for us to start listing MVP candidates, right? right? Best teams we've seen so far this year. The best games that we've called thus far. How we anticipate the season unfolding. We can go in so many different directions. Because the game, certainly not taking us there. Oh, I hear the remotes clicking off right now. They'll run on first down. Beltran. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Beltran. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Beltran. And some room to maneuver. Yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 133 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. At carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. Now a handoff up the middle. Beltran, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Back to throw. Webb. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this will get out of bounds at the two-yard line. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. A play fake. Now Webb. Blitz coming and down he goes. He'll wind up losing 10 there. A full 10 yards. So that one hurts. And it brings up third and goal. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Looking to throw. Webb. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. They'll drop to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And this offense on third down today, they're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. Here it's third and three. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. A you know, fourth down pass play doesn't work out, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. Let's see how they respond now. Here's a second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Beltran, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Webb to throw. And this one is incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. Melbourne's offense back out on the field now. Facing a big fourth-quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, where well, their defense has really struggled. 
And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now a throw here to his running back, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And we are inside at two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down, Beltran into the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Set the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. They'll keep it on the ground. Beltran. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and 10. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but, boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into this offense? They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Louisville, the win moves them a couple games over 500 now at 7-5. and five. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Melbourne, they've fallen out of things now as they sink to 3-8. and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.
Are you looking for high quality simulation football action? Then look no further than the greatest gridiron. Our league consists of 32 relocated franchises from around the world. We are the World Games of Simulation Football, where teams from all over the globe will compete on the greatest of gridirons. Hone your skills as a player or a member of a franchise coaching staff. Compete yearly for our illustrious Global Bowl, awards, accolades, and bragging rights as you climb the ladder of success and greatness. Are you a pro or just an average Joe? The Greatest Gridiron is looking for dedicated and passionate people to help build a league that emphasizes on trust, loyalty, and respect. Look at you. What makes you so great? This is the Greatest Gridiron where you can't stop greatness. Take flight. Take flight. Take flight.